Let's go. And we will see. Hello, thank God it's Friday, the last Friday in the month of July 2023, the 27th day, sorry, the 28th day, Friday the 28th day of July 2023, and this is your life boy today. Yesterday was 27th, today is 28th, July 2023, and your life boy today, he's saying something very obvious today, but sometimes we need to restate the obvious from time to time. So I will remind those that uh, already knew, and it may shock you, some don't know. I put a video somewhere some time ago, and somebody said, why is Omibodo telling us the obvious? And I replied, I said, what is obvious to you may not be obvious to some other people. Now the obvious thing to me is that Jesus has authority over demons for your life boy today. Jesus has authority over demons. But as obvious as it is to me and to Christians in general, perhaps it may not be obvious to some. So that's your topic today. Jesus has authority over demons. And that we will read the more about and find out and eventually pray concerning as we read from the gospel according to St. Mark in chapter 5. Are you set? Let's go now. They came to the other side of the sea, to the country of the Gerasenes. And when he had come out of the boat, there met him out of the tombs a man with an unclean spirit who had lived among the tombs and no one could bind him anymore, even with a chain, for he had often been bound with fetters and chains, but the chains he wrenched apart, and the fetters he broke in pieces, and no one had the strength to subdue him. Night and day among the tombs and on the mountains he was always crying out and bruising himself with stones. And when he saw Jesus from afar, he ran and worshipped him. And crying out with a loud voice, he said, What are you, have you to do with me, Jesus, Son of the Most High God? I adjure you by God, do not torment me. For he had said to him, Come out of the man, you unclean spirit. And Jesus asked him, What is your name? He replied, My name is Legion, for we are many. And he begged him eagerly, not to send them out of the country. Now a great herd of swine was feeding there on the hillside, and they begged him, Send us to the swine, let us enter them. So he gave them leave, and the unclean spirits came out and entered the swine, and the herd, numbering about 2,000, rushed down the steep bank into the sea and were drowned in the sea. The herdsmen fled and told it in the city and in the country, and people came to see what it was that had happened. And they came to Jesus and saw the demoniacs sitting there, clothed and in his right mind, and the man who had the legion, and they were afraid. And those who had seen it told what had happened to the demoniac and to the swine. And they began to beg Jesus to depart 
from their neighborhood. And as he was getting into the boat, the man who had been possessed with the demons begged him that he might be with him. But he refused and said to him, Go home to your friends and tell them how much the Lord has done for you and how he has had mercy on you. And he went away and began to proclaim in the Decapolis how much Jesus had done for him and all men marveled. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Yes, you have heard the story and now it should be obvious to you that Jesus has authority over demons. That's the topic and that's the point they want us to bring out of it. But if you permit me to bring out a few other points as well, because having the authority to drive out demons that possessed one single man, and in going out of that one single man, went into a herd of 2,000, 1, 2, 3, 4, up to 100, 900, 1,000 to 2,000 high, uh, uh, of swine, and they all coming out of one man. The demons went into <laughs> 2,000 places, and those 2,000 things went straight into the sea. I tell you, when the enemy comes against you in one way, when the Lord is going to deliver you, because Jesus has authority over demons, and when those demons are going to scatter out before you or from you, they will scatter into 2,000 parts in the mighty name of Jesus. And again, one more lesson that I learned from there is that that man, Yes, wanted to follow Jesus, but Jesus said, no, I am as, uh, uh, I'm giving you the great commission that you should go and preach to the people. Let them know what happened to you. And so he went around the Decapolis. The Decapolis is a city of 10 major communities, maybe like a state having 10 major cities, all of them almost joining one into another. He went around all the 10 cities proclaiming Jesus. Because Jesus has authority over demons. What is it that is troubling you? Are they demons? What is it that is troubling you? Is it poverty? Is it the, uh, are, you, are you bogged down by the challenges of removal of fuel subsidy, uh, increase in school fees, and so many other things that ordinarily are like demons trying to hold you down and make life difficult for you? I tell you today, just hold on firmly, to Christ and you will be delivered in Jesus name. I also hold on to him and bring for myself too. I know that I will be delivered in Jesus name. So note it from today. Jesus having authority over demons means that he's been given a name that is above every other name. That at the name of Jesus all knees bow of, 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 of demons, of poverty, of oppression, of shenanigans, of everything. And when the Lord will show in your matter the way is going to show up, people will be surprised. That's my prayer for you in Jesus' name. Now, the prayer is for those that are in Christ. And so if you are not yet in Christ, you need to give your life to Christ. I'm going to send out an invitation to you straight away now that you just say this prayer after me. Say, Lord Jesus, I also want to be able to showcase the power that is in you that drives away demons. Therefore, Forgive me of all the sins of the past. Accept me as one of yours today, even as I, I accept you as Lord and Savior. I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. If you just said that prayer, you need to be in a Bible-believing church so that you can grow more in the faith and become more rooted and grounded in the rock of ages. The one at whose name demons, challenges, and all kinds of oppressions depart. I always recommend that you join us in the Anglican Church of Rukia City Extension Oshobo. For now, we worship in the Chapel Hall of the Olive Branches Middle and High Schools, Onyiko and Gokumi Bodun Drive, Rukia City Extension Oshobo. You can join us every Sunday for our Sunday services. On Tuesday, on Sunday, if you are joining us, it's, it's 9 o'clock in the morning. But if you are joining us on a Tuesday, it's 5 o'clock in the late afternoon. And you'll be there with us for the Bible studies, just for one hour. That's in the chapel hall of the Olive Branches Middle and High School, so when you come and go, you to drive to the extension of you. But on the screen right now, you may be able to see some bank account details. Jesus has authority to make sure that we complete that building. We are relying on that authority. 
and all the ones that may want to hold back our posts and wallets will be disappointed because they will flee before us. You can also partner with us. Drop something in that bank account and God will impute it to you for righteousness so that he can always stand by you too to make sure that your challenges flee before you in several dimensions. And as you go today, you need to say this prayer. This beautiful Friday, I've invited you to join me two days from now. That's on Sunday. So, as you go now, say, Oh Lord, grant me grace to submit myself to your authority all the days of my life, I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. So, go out today. Recognize your authority in the name of Jesus. He has authority even over demons. And that authority he will use in your favor today in Jesus' name. Amen. You are good.